Hey guys, this is Mike, and this is a mouse and touchscreen input tutorial. So for this video, I'm going to be talking about the very important topic of mouse and touchscreen input handling, specifically coordinates. Uh, this is actually going to be very short because there's not too much to talk about, but this still really is important, especially if you're going to make games that require the mouse, or if you're making games on your phone and you have to use touchscreen. So, coordinates. The main, two main coordinates I want to talk about are the screen coordinates and the world coordinates. There's also camera space, but I'm not really going to worry about that for this tutorial. So, screen coordinates. It's exactly what it sounds like. It's coordinates relative to the screen, the game window. It's going to be 0, 0 at the top left, and X increasing to the right by increasing down. World coordinates are pretty much the game universe. This is an infinite 2D plane, x increasing to the right, y increasing up, and the origin is 0, 0. Uh, when you're doing mouse and touch input uh, handling, you really, really want to differentiate between these two. Um, sometimes you want to use screen, sometimes you want to use world. An example for a screen would be um, Let's say you're making a game where touching the left side of the screen would do something and touching the right half of the screen would do something else, then yeah, you're obviously going to want to use this. Um, for everything else, world coordinates. Uh, if, you wanna, if you have to click on something inside the game, world coordinates. If you, uh, let's say, doing some kind of point and click sort of movement, world coordinates. Pretty much anything that's not screen, you're using world. I made a small example program here that shows the difference between the two coordinates. Screen coordinates again, relative to the screen, so it's zero, zero up here, and whatever down here. If I make the screen smaller, then the screen coordinates get smaller also, or the bounds of the screen coordinates get smaller. If I make it larger, obviously the screen coordinate bounds gets larger. However, world coordinates never changes. Um, so over here, world coordinates, this is uh, 254. If I make it smaller, still the bottom right corner, it's 254. If I make it even smaller, still 254. So again, world coordinate is unaffected by the screen because world coordinate is relative to the game not the screen. That's that's what screen coordinates is for. Now, um, to get screen coordinates in libgdx, it's really simple. Just gdx.input.getx and gdx.input.gety. And um, that's pretty much the raw screen coordinates that you're going to get. I also have a camera here. I can scroll the camera right and left. You'll notice that the world coordinates actually changes as the camera moves. This is a pretty obvious behavior since world coordinates is relative to the world. So here as an example, again, if you were supposed to click on like an item, like say this mushroom, then you're going to want to use world coordinates because inside the world, inside the game, this mushroom is at 343.95 and you're going to want to use the mouse at position 343.95 to know that you've clicked on it or something. Not 199, not 191, 202. That's screen coordinates, and it's not going to work since that's not where the mushroom really is. Um, so yeah. In order to get world coord, you already know how to get screen coordinates. It's really simple. Just this: get x, get y. If you want to get the world coordinates, first off, you're going to need the camera, the camera I was using, the one that scrolls around. You're going to need that and you are going to do something called unproject. Use the camera and unproject the screen coordinates into world coordinates. So what I did first is I copied the screen coordinates into the world coordinates and then I unprojected it. And that gives you your final world coordinates. So that's pretty much it for this video. It's really short but it's an important topic I think. Um, so hopefully that solves some of the issues some people asked me about, like uh, for example they were confused why the y coordinates 
and when they were doing get y over here were going down and it wasn't really working. So now you know the difference between screen coordinates and world coordinates. Again, use screen coordinates for anything screen related, everything else, world coordinates. So yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching.